गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस वीडियो दैट यू आर वॉचिंग टूडे इज एक्चुअली अ बिट लेट फॉर बींग अपलोडेड ऑन माई चैनल इट वॉज रिकॉर्डेड ऑन द डे ऑफ ओनम वेन इट वॉज लीव फॉर माई सन सो द रूटीन ऑफ दैट डे वॉज बिट डिफरेंट आई स्टार्टेड विद बॉइलिंग द मिल्क द फ्रेश वन एंड द प्रीवियस डे वन एंड देन आई थॉट आई सेट अप द किचन बिकॉज वी हैड वॉश द यूटेंसिल लास्ट नाइट एंड वी हैड टू सेट दैम अप टू गेट द किचन सॉटेड सो दैट आई कुड स्टार्ट कुकिंग यूजली आई ओनली कुक द ब्रेकफास्ट फॉर माई सेल्फ एंड माई सन एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द कुकिंग इज एक्चुअली डन बाय आर पक्का बट फॉर टू डेज शी वॉज ऑन द लीव सो विच मीन्स दैट ऑल द कुकिंग वॉज टू बी डन बाय मी and i cannot cook till the kitchen is sorted then i put water in the electric kettle to boil and then i started cleaning the slab it was actually already clean but it was wet and i wanted to dry it the curd we had was about to be over so i took a bowl of warm milk put a spoon of leftover curd to it and set it so that it's ready by afternoon so actually being a punjabi i was craving for that good punjabi taste of tinde ki sabzi i think it has been more than 4 years that i got to taste it so i thought because today i am going to cook so let me cook it my style i started with washing the peeled tinde and then cutting them into thin slices that's how i remembered my mother doing it and then after that i took the iron karai and seasoned it with oil because once you wash it it needs to be seasoned after that i switched on the gas and let the karai get heated first a bit on sin gas before i started to cook meanwhile i peeled the onion and also cut it in the same thin slices like i did for tinde I also kept tea for my father-in-law and coffee for my husband and now the karai is properly heated so I added a bit of oil in it then I added the tinde slices that I had cut to fry them a bit till they turn a little translucent and it's not deep fry it's just a bit of frying in the oil and heating in the oil The coffee for my husband is ready and he likes it frothy just like the way I'm doing it right now I didn't know before I came here down south and now I do it this way only after that the tea was also ready meanwhile the tea day are actually properly sorted and translucent brown so I'm going to shift them to another karai and in the same iron karai I'm going to now saute the onion I started with first adding a bit of jeera and once it's fluttered I added onions as well and I'm going now going to saute them brown translucent brown and while this happens I'm going to cut one tomato into pieces for it to be added to this vegetable so actually the lunch for today includes tinde ki sabzi green moong dal rice which is a staple in our family during lunch and rasam so rasam is already there we make it once for two days and rice will be done in the afternoon so i'm going to soak it right now in the morning and dal i'll prepare after i do the breakfast once the onion is properly sauteed i'm going to now add the tomato into it and after cooking it for 2 to 3 minutes i'm going to add a bit of turmeric powder garam masala dhaniya powder red chili powder and the salt so all the basic masalas for the taste i'm going to add right now mix this all really well and then let it all cook once again properly once it is properly cooked and softened i'm going to again add back the tinde that were sauteed and now i'm going to mix it all and cook this entire mix once again on the sim gas i'm going to add just a very little water say 3 to 4 spoons and cover it with a lid so that it cooks and becomes soft and meanwhile i'm now going to have my warm water which i have the first 
thing in the morning and in between i just keep looking and checking on my vegetable i'm so invested in this one because i really am craving for the taste my mother used to give to this vegetable and i've not had it for so long and then i sat for the tea it was almost cold because it had been long that i made it and i just gulped it down and actually there was so much work pending that i didn't want to waste sitting and having tea the vegetable is ready somehow the color didn't turn out as i expected it to be in fact let me be very honest even the taste wasn't that what i expected and it wasn't really something that i liked i think i should have added more tomatoes and definitely a bit of more salt for it to taste the way i wanted it to taste but i've learned a lesson and i'm definitely going to do that next time and now i'm going to move on to making the breakfast for breakfast we are having green moong dal dosa which is filled with carrot and onions it really tastes well i had already soaked green moong dal at night i'm going to use some of it for dosa some of it to make dal during the afternoon and the rest of it will be sprouted for the salads later i made the dosa and it was a great compensation because it really did turn out very very yum hope you liked this video definitely do share your feedback okay.